Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Shannon. Today we are discussing the false doctrine of sowing seed. Friends, this thing is rampant where many preachers are seducing weak, unlearned people who believe that you can plant a seed, whether it's a dollar, $20, a $5 bill, whatever it is, they're telling you you can plant a seed into their ministry and that God is going to bless you. Friends, they are all liars. When you give to any ministry, including Sister Sharon's work, I am an outreach ministry. I have been doing outreach since I met Jesus Christ almost 30 years ago. And friends, I or anyone that tells you if you plant, if you sow, if you give to my ministry or their ministry, that God is going to bless you. They are liars. Friends, you give because you are a partaker of a ministry and it has blessed your life. Friends, you're giving not to receive anything. In fact, Jesus said, when you give, it's better to give than to receive. Jesus said this, my friends. So when anyone tells you that when you plant or sow into their ministry, he's going to bless you. They are all liars. They are mutilating. They are adulterating. Matthew chapter 13, where Jesus gave the parable of the sower The word is what you sow, friends, not your money. When we preach, when we teach, when we exhort the truth, there will be a harvest of righteousness when there are hearts to receive the unadulterated word of God. Some may be 30-fold, some 60, some 100. That's what Jesus was speaking about. He was not speaking about sowing your $20 bills and your dollar bills into the pockets of any preacher, friends. It's simply the word. The word is where you reap the harvest. And if there is no one planting seeds of truth, unadulterated, there will never be a harvest of righteousness because there is no real sowers of truth. Not your money. Don't believe the hype. When you give to any ministry, friends, you're giving because one, you've been blessed by that ministry. Number two, you may believe, just like myself, many of you know I make handmade soaps. We give our soaps freely to the general public, low income, and to the homeless. Friends, I ship soap all over America. I've been doing this since last year, but I have been doing random acts of kindness for 30 years. That's my ministry, outreach. So when you all donate to Sister Sharon's Motivating You to Win or Handmade Soaps for Hope, friend, you are allowing me, blessing me to carry out an initiative that God put in my heart since I was born again. And that is to give random acts of kindness. That's what I do. Many of you know, we've been fundraising to get a new facility so I could keep making soap because we have outgrown our facility. I cannot tell anyone, nor would I ever, that God's going to bless you if you sow into my ministry. I No, mm-mm. That would be a lie, friends. Only God knows what's going on in your heart. Only God knows, friends. We don't, we as servants of Christ and, and the things that we're doing to reach out and spread hope, friends, we cannot put no type of return on your quote, as they say, the seeds you sow. It is foolishness. It is a lie. We bless you. We thank you for giving. But friends, we cannot lie on God and get away with it. Any person telling you to sow, to be blessed, they are all liars. You give, and when we do, we're not to expect anything in return. Nothing, nothing. So friends, stop believing these liars and many of these false prophets. They are doing all their fake miracles. They will tell you how God told them to sow money and they got a new mansion. Let me tell you, friends, God did tell them the little G God. 
The God of Mammon told him. The God of Mammon will bring you a return to get you hooked on this system. This is a worldly system of investment. Friends, that's not in this kingdom. You give expecting nothing in return. You give when you when when we feel blessed, you want to give. You're not looking for anything. You're just wanting to be a blessing. When we do random acts with all this soap, friends, I'm not looking for nothing. This is what God put in my heart to do, my friend. And I thank God for every last one of you who have been consistent. You've been giving. You've been helping. And friends, this is what we're doing. We are spreading hope. Hope. Hope is freely given to me and freely I give. So my friend, don't believe the hype. Any preacher that tells you you're going to be blessed by God when you give them your money is a liar. I don't care how charismatic, I don't care how many fake miracles this person is doing, I don't care how many prophet lies they giving out, these people are corrupt, money has nothing to do with this gospel, my friends. We preach and teach and exhort for free, freely we receive, freely we give. Yes, it costs money to make soap, it costs money, my friends, for administration, it costs money to pay rent and bills and lights and water, yes. But not this gospel, not this gospel. And if you live right and do right, God will bless whoever he wants to, my friend. And so if you think the preacher is holding your blessing from a $20 bill, you're deceived and you need to wake up, brothers and sisters. Wake up, my friends. Till next time, I need you to go and study Matthew chapter 13 for yourself. Jesus was not talking about money. He was talking about sowing the word. When we preach that word unadulterated with no apology, it will return a harvest, some 30, some 60, some 100. Righteous living, that's the harvest. He or she that has the ear to hear. God bless you, my friends, because the wolves are howling. They're everywhere after those dollars. And they always say, God said, if you give a thousand, he's going to bless you. The God of this world, little G, oh, he'll find a way to get some money to you and get you trapped into this false doctrine. Oh, yes, he will. Yes, he will. Oh, yes, he will. God bless you, my friends. Till next time, be wise, be smart. God bless.